You ready? Good afternoon. My name is uh, Chaim Deitch. I'm chair of the Veterans Committee. I would like to thank you uh, for being here today, and I would like to extend my warmest regards to the veterans who are watching us today uh, on a day after we honor their service. In honor of Veterans Day and to honor our veterans and active service members, all of whom have sacrificed to protect this great country, the Veterans Committee will be voting on three pieces of legislation this afternoon. These bills are desi designed to improve the lives of veterans by connecting them to more fully to services that New York City offers, resources and benefits that they have earned and that we owe them. I am proud to co-sponsor each of these bills along with Council Member Ulrich. Uh, proposed intro 391A, uh, would require the Department of Veteran Services, DVS, to provide benefits counseling services, including offering advice, evaluation, and information to veterans and their loved ones who seek assistance with federal, state, and city benefits that they may be entitled to because of their service. Counseling services would be provided by trained staff and would be available in at least one location at each borough. Proposed uh, intro 394A uh, would require DVS to establish a, at least one comprehensive veterans resource center in each borough by June 1st, 2019. Uh, each center would be uh, required to be located in an area that is easily accessible to public transportation and for those disabled vet, uh, vets. Each location would provide free current information on a wide range of benefits and options in terms of housing, social services, and tax exemptions. These centers would be robust, with stable weekly hours and offer physical resource guides and benefits counseling on the premises as well. DVS would also be required to report on a range of metrics pertaining to these, certain, to these centers starting in January of 2020 to make sure they are serving our veterans properly. Finally, uh, proposed intro 396A would require DVS to maintain and regularly update a resource guide for veterans. This guide would be available on the, D, uh, the DVS website in written format. If requested, uh, it, uh, if requested, it would contain information about a wide range of veteran-specific opportunities, programs, services, organizations, and benefits in both the public and private sector. And uh, Eric is not here. So um, although... We're going to continue, right? Um, although we can never fully repay veterans for the service that they have uh, rendered, we can uh, and must do all we can to support them and continue supporting them as they transition back to civilian life. It is my hope that today's legislation uh, will just do that. I believe these bills will help us serve our city's veterans population better, and I urge the committee members to vote in favor of these bills. Um, We'll open the call to the clerk. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on veterans. All items are coupled. Chair Deutsch. Aye. Maisel. Valone. Aye and all, and please include me on the bills. Brandon. Aye. We vote of four on the affirmative, zero on the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Uh, we'll leave the vote open uh, for about 10-15 minutes. <laughs> 